What kind of dancing would we do? Like swing dancing, ballroom dancing? I can do a little salsa, just a little bit, so. Mm. It's not very good, but you know, it'll work. We can work on that. Hi, I'm Jess, I am 21. So I only started getting into fashion really like my senior year of high school. I had to buy all my own clothes, so I got really into thrifting. I work part-time as an environmental consultant, and then right now I'm studying for the LSAT so I can apply to law schools. What I tend to lean towards is like Tyler the Creator, kind of. If a guy can pull off a suit, I'm also very into that too. Maybe into grunge, but also business casual. That would be the perfect man. <laughs> I'm like not a huge shoe person in general. And they're probably like the last thing I think about when it comes to an outfit. But they say that you can tell the most about someone from their shoes. Okay, contestant number two. I like those shoes a lot. I would wear those shoes, yeah. <laughs> also, um, contestant number four. Those are pretty nice. I'm curious what's gonna accompany the rest of those. I can't really tell too much off the bat, so. What kind of music is everyone into? My favorite genre is probably like rap, like Kanye, new album, Danda. I also listen to like pop, like Ariana Grande, like 100 Gex. I'm a producer. I make a lot of music from different genres. Anything from like reggae to hip hop to house music. I'm a big R&B guy, but I definitely like to mix it up with alternative music as well. I listen to a lot of indie rock. My favorite bands are Sad Girl and uh, a band called Maxiel. Also a lot of like old corny music like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Bobby Darin. I'd say uh, favorite band, Rolling Stones, and favorite artist, Otis Redding. I like Thundercat and Prince. Prince is obviously the best musician of all time, so you know, there's that. Okay, let me, let me go back, let me go back. I'm going to have to eliminate, very sadly, contestant number one. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. You, your outfit is amazing, though. You I too, love too. it. Thank you. <laughs> what happened to your face? Oh, it's just Nelly inspired. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, this is cool. <laughs> Can I look now? Ooh. Okay. Contestant number five is not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just expected him first to be wearing like pants or like something more athletic. I like it though. I like the colors a lot. I'm very into it. Contestant number three is kind of what I expected. I also liked his music choices too. So very promising. Can I ask everyone a question now? Okay. Where would we go on our first date and what would we be doing? Definitely love to go on a drive, probably somewhere like near the coast, you know, get that like nice ocean breeze. Afterwards, I would love to like show you some of my music and maybe cook you something if you're down. Okay, so um, I like to go out to like overlooks and, and cliffs and just kind of like watch the stars or just, just uh, chill in the car and then talk and like we'll really get to know you. Okay, so for me, I consider myself like a big Romantic. Definitely gonna take you out to dinner. Maybe a place I haven't tried before or somewhere that I know that's really good. And then maybe go like dancing or... What kind of dancing would we do? Like swing dancing? Ballroom dancing? I can do a little salsa. Just a little bit, so... Mm. It's not very good, but you know, it'll work. We can work on that. I'd probably take you for a ride out to my favorite spot on uh, Angel's Crest Highway. And we probably would have a picnic there and after than uh, an art museum. What would you drive us to the spot in? A motorcycle, if that's oh. okay. Yeah, I've never been on the back of a motorcycle, actually. There's always a first. I would choose a drive-in movie. I drive a truck, so I've got a pretty impressive drive-in movie set up. Air mattress, blankets, pillows, picnic, all of that, all set up. Preferably a horror movie, if you're into that sort of thing. Ooh, I, I do I love like horror, horror movies. movies. The two? Oh, I only had one. Okay, I have to rethink now. I'm gonna eliminate contestant number two. Just, hi, Jess. Hey. Nice sorry. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, your answer no, was just fine. not what was as dramatic. I'm Jess. Yeah, it was the answer, so it's okay. Yeah. All right. So now it's going to be contestant number two. Yeah. 
Sorry. No, Hi. you totally get it. I'm Jess. I'm Jess. Nice I love your you. outfit so much. Thank you. Though. I appreciate it. And about the sustainable fashion, I work mm -hmm. at a thrift store. Really? Yeah. So oh, I'm like. That would have been a power couple. I feel like the tops definitely match the pants. I still really like the outfit on the end. You have a really cool style. Yeah, I like the, the leather jacket. Goes with the motorcycle. Goes with the rock music. It's all making sense now. Yeah. Oh, nothing about me? I, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it looks very like comfy. I see maybe a little bit of a chain. I like that. Where do you see yourself in five years? I am leaving in about six months uh, to Asia. I'm starting a business project in the Philippines with my friend. We are developing affordable housing for pretty much anyone around the world to be able to vacation. I'm trying to, you know, make it more accessible for people to be able to visit beautiful places. Oh, that's a great answer. Yeah, it's super sweet. I like that. <laughs> Probably tattooing and traveling at the same time. Currently, I'm doing a tattoo apprenticeship down in OC. Hopefully that will give me opportunity to travel and work at the same time. What got you into tattoos or what was your first tattoo? Well, what got me into tattooing was art in general and I've been drawing all my life. I have a degree in fine arts. I just figured that's a way to make money and do what I love. And first tattoo, I was 17 and it was in New York City and I got a skull on the inside of my bicep. I do not have any tattoos right now, but I do want to get one eventually. I'm pretty stationary compared to everybody else, I suppose. I would like to either open up my own dealership or start brokering out cars personally. Cars are my passion, so. What's your dream car? Ooh, that's a hard, that's, I'm a big Mercedes-Benz guy. I worked for them for about four years, so maybe, I would say maybe an SLS Gullwing. I think the first person I'm gonna eliminate is Contestant number two. Hi, hey. I'm Jess. Nice to meet Morrow. you. Morrow, pleasure to meet you. Wait, what is it? Morrow. Morrow, nice pleasure to meet, meet you. Too. I like your jacket. Thank you. I like yours too. Thank you. Give me thirty seconds. Give me thirty seconds. To think. <laughs> <laughs> this is really tough. <laughs> Like I like both their outfits in different ways. So now I gotta think back to the answers. <laughs> I'm gonna eliminate contestant number two. I'm so sad about it though. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, hi, I'm Jess. Nice to meet you, Jess. Quinn. Quinn, nice to meet you too. Sorry, it's very narrow. It's very <laughs> close. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jess. Hey, what's up? Nice meeting you. What's your name? Taryn. I'm honestly really excited about what you're doing in the future with sustainable oh, fashion. Oh, thank you. That's I liked really what cool you were going to do. Like, your plan for five years, I was very into it. Awesome. And awesome. I think it was your first date that, like, really got me because it oh. sounded like fun. I think there's definitely, like, a lot of elements that I do like. The jewelry, I've never gone for before, but I kind of like it. Glad I'm spicing it up. Yeah, yeah. you are spicing it up. <laughs> I mean, Let's get married. Oh, yeah, okay. I have rings. Oh, you have multiple. Yours are cooler Pig. than mine, too. Okay. We're getting married. We're married! It was good to be. Oh. It was good to be. We can go for a drive into the distance. Yeah, into the sunset. <laughs> Not on a motorcycle. Obviously. <laughs>